Please subscribe math.com for any query, comment or email. Hello everyone. Today we are uh, going to discuss another type of equations that can be reduced to the quadratic equations that are exponential equations. Now what are exponential equations? Exponential equations are the equations having variables in exponents. For example, we have 4 dot 2 raised to power 2x plus 1 minus 9 dot 2 raised to power x plus 1 equals to 0. Now this is an exponential equation. Why? Because here the, there are variables in the exponents. Now how you can solve such equations as uh, it looks difficult to solve other than uh, uh, other than uh, by using some uh, uh, substitution method. So we can reduce this exponential equation into the quadratics by using some proper substitution. We can also write this equation as 4 dot 2 raised to power 2x dot 2 raised to power 1 as we have in power the 2x plus 1. So when they are adding, uh, when we, uh, according to the rule of exponent, um, when uh, when uh, the uh, when there is a common base, then the exponents added. So we can write or we can split two raised to power two x plus one into two raised to power two x dot two raised to power one minus nine dot two raised to power x plus one equals to zero. So by doing this, we can have a uniformity in the form as we have two raised to power two x, two raised to power x, and two as they have the the common base and the power and powers are somewhat uh, um, and the powers are somewhat similar but how let's see how they are similar now keep this in mind that substitution is only possible when the bases are same here we have the base 2 2 and 2 so all the bases are same so we can make the substitution here so the substitution is 2 raised to power x equals to y we will substitute this value into the equation 1. We have to substitute it here. So, we can substitute as. So, let's put the value 2 raised to power x equals to y in the equation as 4 dot. As we have 2 raised to power 2x and the substitution is 2 raised to power x. It means we will have a power of 2. So, we will write as 4y square. We have not written y only because. In the power we have 2x while in the substitution we have x so we can write it as 4y square dot 2 2 will be written as it is as there is no variable in the exponent and then we will have minus 9 dot 2 raised to power x will be replaced by y plus 1 equals to 0 now we will simplify this equation 4 2 is 8 it will become 8y square minus 9y plus 1 equals to 0 now, this given equation is in the quadratic form as the value of as the highest power here is 2. Okay, so it is the quadratic equation and now you can solve this quadratic equation by using any of the method that we have already discussed in our previous lectures that is by factorization or completing square or by uh, using a quadratic formula. So, we will use here uh, factorization method that is the most basic method that we can use to uh, solve a certain equation. So let's start with the uh, factorization method as we have 8, eight and uh, we have a value of a that is 8, c is 1. So 8 1s are 8 so the multiples um, uh, so 8 1s eight ones are 8 so the factors could be 8 and 1. So we can write it as 8y square minus 8y minus y plus 1. If you want to understand the how you can solve the quadratic equation by using the factorization method you can see the video uh, uh, on our youtube channel uh, so that uh, in a step by step manner we have explained it by, by using different examples so currently we are uh, our, uh, our focus is how you can use uh, how you can reduce the certain equation into the quadratic form and then you can easily solve the quadratic equation by using different methods so 8y square minus 8y minus y plus 1 here we have to take the common from the first two terms and the common will be 8y then y minus 1 and in the next two terms there is uh, no uh, common other than 1 so we will write as minus 1 
it will become like this. Okay, so y minus one is the common factor. It, it will we will factor it out, and eight y minus the remaining terms. So we can say that that y minus one equals to zero and eight y minus one equals to zero. So it means one value of y will be zero. The uh, one value of y will be one. Okay, and the other value of y will be eight y equals to one, and it will give you with y is equals to one by eight. So we have got two values of y. Now keep this in mind that the solution does not end here. Does not end here. Why? Because we are concerned with the value of x rather than y. Y is just the substitution that we have made. Where? In this equation. So we have to put the values of this y back into the equation one. This is the equation number two. Into the equation number two, so that you can get the value of x as the given equation is in the There is with the variable x. Okay, so we will put these values in the equation as two raised to power x is equals to y. Then two raised to power x equals to y is one. Okay, now two raised to power x is equals to now y can be one can be written as two raised to power zero. Okay, this you can see this concept in the rules of exponents. Where whenever there is a zero in the exponent, the given um, uh, and whatever the number at the at the base, then it will become one. So one can be replaced with two raised to the power zero. Okay. So the now the bases are same. It means the exponents are equal. So we can compare the exponent as x is equals to zero. So what is the value of x here? Zero. Okay. Now we will calculate the value of X from the other as well, from the other equation, uh, other value of y as well. That is, two raised to power x equals to y. Two raised to power x equals to one by eight. Then two raised to power x can be written as one divided by eight can be written as in the form of two as two raised to power three. Okay, so keep this in mind. These rules of you have to uh, you should have the knowledge of the rules of exponents in order to solve the exponential equations. Okay. So now, as the two raised to power three is in denominator, we can move it in the numerator, so we can make the so that we can make the comparison. So it will become two raised to power minus three. As we move anything from denominator to the numerator, its um, uh, its exponent becomes um, uh, from positive it becomes negative, and if it is negative, it becomes positive. Now the bases are same, so we can compare the exponents as x is equal to minus three. Okay, so what is the other value of x? That is x equals to minus three. So what is the solution set? Here we have got the solution set as I'll write solution set is equals to zero and minus three. If you want to check whether the solution is right or not, you can put the values of zero and put these values zero and minus three back into this equation so that uh, if uh, if these values satisfy the equation, it means if the left hand side becomes equal to right hand side, then that then it, uh, that means your solution set is right. So let's have one more example of a little bit a different type, uh, so that you can uh, have a uh, uh, practice over it. That how you can solve the ex exponential equation by reducing them to um, quadratic equations. If you are given with the equation as three raised to power two x plus two equals to twelve or three raised to power x minus three. Now, first of all, you have to check one thing. Whenever you came across the exponential equations, you have to check whether the base is same in all the terms that are given. So we can check here that this one, this one, both are same. So you have to check the bases of those, uh, um, uh, uh, bases of uh, bases of those uh, terms of which uh, which are having the variables in the exponent. Okay. So these are the two terms of uh, having the variable x in the exponents, and both these bases are same. It means it can be redu reducible to the quadratic form. So we have to solve it accordingly in order to uh, accordingly uh, in order to uh, make a suitable substitution. Substitution. So let's start as three raised to power two x plus two is equal to twelve dot three raised to power x minus three. Okay. Now, three raised to power two x plus two can also be written as as we have three raised to power two x dot three raised to power two 
equals to 12 dot 3 raised to power x minus 3. This is according to, to the rule of exponent that when the bases are same, the exponents added. So we can write 3 raised to power 2x plus 2 into 3 raised to power 2x or 3 raised to power 2. We have actually we have split the uh, term into uh, uh, split the term by using the rule of exponent. Okay. So now we, we can make the suitable substitution as 3 raised to power x equals to y. So this is the substitution that we have uh, that we will do as this is this is an equation 1 and this is equation 2 and we will substitute it in equation 1. Okay. So here as we have 3 raised to power x but here we have 3 raised to power 2x. So it means we will uh, get the um, square here. So 3 raised to power 2x will be as if I write it as 3 raised to power 2x then this equation becomes y square. So we will uh, put the value of 3 raised to power x and 3 raised to power 2x in equation 1. So we'll start by putting the values as y square dot 3 square equals to 12 dot y minus 3. Okay. So 3 square is 9. I will write as 9y square and we'll uh, move all the other terms uh, from the right hand side towards the left hand side. It will become minus 12y plus 3 equals to 0. We will take 3 as common. It will become 3y square minus 4y plus 1 equals to 0. Okay, 3 will go towards the other side. So, 0 divided by 3 is 0. It will become 3y square minus 4y plus 1 equals to 0. So, this equation is actually the quadratic equation. So, we have reduced the given exponential equation into the quadratic equation. Now, you can easily solve it by any of the method of, uh, of uh, that we have already discussed whether by factorization or the other two methods. So, we will use the factorization method. We will use the factorization method to solve this equation. So it will be like 3y square minus 4y plus 1 equals to 0. The factors will be 3, 3 and 1. So 3 1s are 3. So we will write the factor as 3y square minus 3y minus y plus 1 equals to 0. 3y will be common. So y minus 1 minus 1 common. So it will be y minus 1 equals to 0. So y minus 1 is the common factor and we will write the remaining terms as like this. So this means y minus 1 equals to 0 and 3y minus 1 equals to 0. So one value of y is 1 and the other value of y is equals to 1 divided by 3 by solving the two equations. So we have got the two values of y. So the answer is not ended here because these are the just the values of y but we actually require the value of x. So we will put these two values where in equation 2. Okay, so we'll put these value in equation 2 in order to find the value of x. So I'll write as 3 raised to power x equals to y or 3 raised to power x equals to 1. So 1 can be written as 3 raised to power x equals to 3 raised to power 0. As I have already told you that according to the law of exponent, anything raised to power 0 is equals to 1. So we have to make the base equal in order to find the value of x. So we have uh, written 3 raised to power 0. So as the bases are equal, then the exponents will be compared as x is equals to 0. So the one value of x is x equals to 0. So another value can be calculated as 3 raised to power x equals to y. 3 raised to power x equals to 1 by 3. 3 raised, uh, now 3 raised to power x as uh, in, in the denominator, the value of 3, is, uh, the exponent of 3 is 1. As it is moved to the numerator, it will become 3 raised to power minus 1. Okay. Now their bases are same then the exponents can be compared as x is equal to minus 1. So this is how you can reduce the uh, given um, uh, given uh, exponential equation into the quadratic form and then accordingly you can find the solution set. So here we have got the solution set as I write the solution set here. Solution set is the value of x that is that satisfy the given equation. Solution set is 0 and minus 1. So this is how you can solve or reduce any exponential equation to the quadratic equation so that you can easily solve that given equation other than using by any other complex method. Thank you.
Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.